Marty, how good a win was that on the weekend, do you reckon, for the club? It seems like you set yourself for it. You wanted to play with more passion. You wanted to match the Richmonds, and, and you did it. How did it feel? <laughs> Yeah, it felt really great. Um, we, we've been focusing all year, a four-quarter effort, and I felt on the weekend, so the playing group and the coaching staff, that we gave that um, from the first bounce to the last second, where you see efforts where Tendai runs back with a flight with 40 seconds to go. Um, didn't matter what stage of the game it was, everyone was giving great effort and executing their role, um, which gave us um, you know, much to um, be happy about towards the end of the game, and, and to see the passion from the boys was, was great too. Does it give you great confidence going forward that you had that little flat spot uh, if the boys came back but now you seem to be on the rise again and you're in the top four? Yeah, I think we, we just focus on what we can control as a, as a group and a, and a playing group and a, and a coaching staff and that's our next moment and for us, um, funny, enough, funny enough with all the cliches, it is the next training session. Um, we're looking forward to getting out there and still trying to improve our game um, throughout the whole game on the weekend. There were some patches that you know, we wouldn't be too proud of and have reviewed and, and want to keep improving. Um, you know, the best sides always keep improving and you see that throughout the whole year. So for us, there's a lot of mini games still to be played and a lot of footy to go before the real season starts. Uh, top two side people are talking about now. I know you keep improving, but if you get to your pinnacle, you're a top two side. Oh, look, you don't focus on stuff like that, especially our group. Um, that's been you know, some of the positives for us this year. Um, there's, there's always a talk that happens throughout the media and, and, and other players and, and staff, but for us it's just to keep drawing back to, to what we know works, and, and that's each moment for us, that's each training session, each game, and there's not one more important this week than GWS. Do you feel like uh, you can match any team on your, on your day? I think every AFL club wants to think that. You know, you train so hard in the pre-season, you work so hard throughout the year that you know you want to be able to challenge any team at your best. And for us, you know, that's going to take the training sessions, that's going to take the work in the gym and the meetings to make sure that we can get ourselves right as a team. So for us to get ourselves playing the best footy we can, there's still a lot of football to go before the real season goes. You've got four games to go, and they're all pretty much winnable games. You're saying that you're not looking ahead about what path you could take possibly when September comes around? Because that's going to be an exciting part of it now for you guys. I think if you start looking ahead too far, then that can really bite you in the bum in a way. Because, you know, for us this week, it's GWS. If you look at the whole year, they've been in every single game up to three-quarter time and had opportunities to win it. Uh, lapses of concentration in moments in games can really cost you. And you look at their game against Collingwood, you know, leading at three-quarter time and unfortunately went down. Down, but you know they're a young side that wants to compete, they're going to be competitive, they're going to give it their all, they're going to come over here thinking they can get the job done. So if we were to look ahead then that would really probably come back to bite us, as I said before, in the bum. So we've got to focus on what we can do and that's this week, you know, taking down a good side, a good young side. Chris, uh, you, I know you speak about one game at a time, but are you confident the group is good enough to continue this winning momentum and finish the season on the back of maybe four wins? Oh, look, we'd love to. We'd love to win every game we play. Um, and it's going to come down to the preparation that we do to, to play those games. Um, like you said then, it is a game at a time for us. It's one game which we have to focus on, which is GWS, and to get that job done, then we go through the same process like we have all year. We review it, we prepare, we get ourselves right, we train hard, and then we play hard. And for us to keep that winning formula would be excellent. If you do that, I mean, that puts you in a position statistically to get top two. Is it? Do you take into account percentage or anything like to keep the, the pedal down? Oh, look, it's funny when you say top two, top four. You know, if we breathe out any moment now, we can slip right down. The competition's that tight. Um, if you start thinking about variable, um, variable factors like that, then you know you can really cost yourself. And for us, it's. It's with you know going through our review process, training hard and playing hard, and then you know those things will come into account. But the coaches will look at stuff like that. Players, we focus on what we can control. Is, but is there a confidence in the group, the confidence in your own methods, your own training, that you're in that sort of top two or three bracket of, of clubs? Well, at the moment we're sitting top four, and you know we'd love to be in that position. Um, but there's a lot of you know there's four other sides that'd like to be in that position as well. And it's not saying that they can't get there. So if we start thinking we're definitely cemented in that spot, then we're kidding ourselves. We've got a long way to go. There's four games to go, and then there's finals, and we just got to keep putting each performance, um, you know, on the board, and hopefully getting wins as possible. You mentioned the four-quarter effort uh, at the start of the presser, and quite amazing that we haven't mentioned that Matthew Pavlich is a chance to return. Does he fit into the team after such a great effort last week? I think he fits into most sides. Um, he, he's, a, he's been my mentor now for six years um, and got me to the stage where I am at the moment. Uh, and 
yeah, his, uh, his resume speaks for himself. Um, he's had an unfortunate year with injury. Um, but, you know, when, you, when you've been in the system for as long as he has and given his heart and soul to this football club, um, you know, that's a way that sometimes, you know, especially us forward group, would love to have him there and we love fighting for him knowing that how hard he's worked for us. What's his training load been like during the suspension? Um, I wouldn't be too sure, to be honest. I've really been focused on footy and what I can control for myself, uh, the fitness staff, and, and Matthew would be controlling that. There's an adjustment period, though, you'd think, in the forward line, wouldn't you? Because he'll sort of change the structure of the field. He'll either have to play deep, and Will Sandy keep coming down there. And so it'll be a little bit of fine-tuning, at least in this match, to try to work out how to... Um, I think Matthew is, is so professional that he really keeps himself at a standard that he can play AFL football and um, working with probably Ross and, and the fitness staff they'll find the way, best way for him to play but no matter what he does um, he, he's going to be terrific for us he's going to you know he's going to draw a key defender he's going to draw other defenders to him um, just the way he plays and and that gives our midfielders an opportunity to um, use up the other forwards that may be getting free um, and you see with when he comes in he works so hard chips away at it, you know, he gets his bag as he normally does and, and other small forwards get on the board as well. So um, he's definitely crucial to our forward line. Is there excitement around the club about the position you're in at the moment? Um, it's just challenging because, you know, the position we're in right now is not cemented. There's still plenty of football to go. And if you always look forward and, and what could possibly be, then, you know, you live in hypotheticals. And for us right now, it's, it's this week, it's GWS. They're a strong young side. They're going to come to compete. And we want to get the job done and we want to keep you know, working through the next four games to keep getting the job done to give ourselves the best opportunity. Chris, just on GWS, certainly they haven't been intimidated by any size this year. They seem to really want to take up the other teams physically. Have you noticed that when you played in the past? Oh, I didn't play them last year, so this is the first time I'm going to come up against them. Um, but you can just tell by the way they play. Um, they get brought up you know, throughout the week on all the footy shows with the young kids they've got really putting their head over the footy, going back with the flight, challenging the opposite uh, opposition sides and you know have a strong leader in Callum Ward who's really putting his head over and, and earning the you know the hard free kicks and, and getting the reward from it as well and you know nowhere to look but Jeremy Cameron who's who's dominating up forward.